how do you diagnose a woman and say, listen, you are perimenopausal? <clears throat> so really perimenopause is diagnosed by symptoms. So it's how you're feeling. The, the most sensitive way are the hot flashes, the menstrual irregularities. We can do blood tests, but during perimenopause, the hormone levels are all over the place. They go up, they go down. So one day your levels are really low, the next day they're really high. Because estrogen's produced by the ovaries in a pulsatile fashion. So sometimes it's a big burst of estrogen, and sometimes it's just a little dribble. And every day it's a little different. So I rarely will do blood tests, and I will manage the patient based on her symptoms. All right, and what about in terms of, you know, we hear about irregular periods. Is that like the sign that, okay, something's going on, you maybe skipped one, and then three months later again? Correct. So what happens is as you get closer and closer to menopause, your periods begin to change. They can get closer together, they can get farther apart, they can get heavier, they can skip a period. Sometimes that'll happen two or three times a year. As long as you get six or more periods a year, then we don't really care. Okay. There's not much to worry about. So it's good to log it and keep track of it? I think it's really important. And then if you get the periods are too close together, you're getting too many in a year, then they need to be evaluated. because. Just because you're having bleeding disturbances doesn't mean that's perimenopause. You may actually have, you may have a polyp, you may have a precancer, you may have an abnormality. So you really need to see your health care professional and have it evaluated.